Hello there, my name is Jamie and in this video I'm going to show you how to top the pressure up in your boiler. Now if you're watching this video there's a good chance that you've probably got no heat in a hot water which I know is really annoying um, but if it is down to just low system pressure then rest assured it's very simple to sort out. Um, you know, boilers are really clever nowadays in that they will shut down and go into a fail safe mode if the pressure is too low. Obviously it doesn't want to be running and putting pressure on components and you're know, damaging the pump and things like that. So obviously it's got your best interests at heart but when you've got no heat in a hot water it is very annoying. Now I'm going to show you the really simplest way to do this but unfortunately different boilers have different sorts of um, methods of filling up the system. So if you don't see one of these filling valves that looks very similar to this near your boiler then there's a good chance you've probably got one built into the boiler um, which unfortunately you're going to need to find that out if you don't see one of these. Um, so some of what I say will still be relevant um, but obviously you've got a built in filling loop then you'll need to look into that. Now the system pressure has gone down to zero, I've got a pressure gauge here on the boiler, Just let me just show you what one of them looks like. Um, so you want to keep an eye out for this because this is going to really help you. Unfortunately some boilers don't have these on show in which case you need to go through the menus to find out where it's going to show you the pressure. You just need to look into manufacturer's instructions for this. But this is how simple it is. So we've got this filling loop here um, and you can see we've got two black levers. I'm going to try and get a bit closer for you. You can see you've got two black levers here. Now these levers are facing against the, the direction of the valve. That's indicating to me that they're off. If they were pointing towards the valve or in line with the valve, then that's saying to me that that's open. Okay, so that's what we're looking for, is if it's going against the direction of the flat, the valve, then it's off. And it's just as simple as me turning one open and then turning the other one open. And now you can probably hear that the system is filling up with pressure. You want to be keeping an eye on this gauge here because once it gets up to the green area we know that we're in the right location now you can hear the boilers kicked in now because it's recognized that it's got into the right area and i'm just going to allow it to pressurize a little bit more um, just so that we've got a bit of an allowance for a little bit of pressure loss when air gets released and things like that so i'm happy there now common questions that i get asked are what's the correct pressure to be at well to give you an idea, some boilers will operate down to 0.8 of a bar. Um, the sweet spot for me is about 1.5 bar when the system is cold. But what you'll find is if the central heating system is hot, then that pressure will increase up to maybe 2 to 2.5 bar. Um, but what you should know is that if you go into the free bar mode area, then um, the boiler is going to want to release some of that pressure so it doesn't overpressurize and it will release water to outside. Um, through its pressure relief valve and then that can have an effect when the system cools back down again it will be down at zero and you'll have to keep doing this regularly so if you're doing this every day there's a good chance your boiler probably needs a service um, and get that sorted out okay but that's how easy it is you just literally just need to find this valve turn these 90 degrees top the pressure up and when you finish make sure you turn them off so that you're not filling the system uh, system up afterwards keep an eye on your pressure gauge make sure it's in the green and and that's about it. So there you have it. That's how you top the pressure up on your boiler. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. You know, if you want to see more of this in the future, if you're watching this on YouTube, then make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this on Facebook or any other social media channel, then make sure you follow us. You know, we plan to give out a lot more content in the future, which hopefully should save you some money on some call outs, unnecessary call outs um, for things that you can do yourself. So you've been watching Jamie Curaton from Hydro Heat. Uh, thanks for your time and I'll, uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.